today is a good day because after work, I went to the gym and I was able to bench press 40 pounds, kind of, a little bit. But the point is, I didn't give up. Also, Cat Creature, aka Piper Blue, followed me on Instagram and she's honestly like one of my favorite YouTubers. I got to talk to her for a little bit and and I got this package in the mail and I was like, I didn't order anything. But then I realized the sticker is by Silly Friends. Um, she has an Etsy store and I think we recently like followed each other because I found her store and I really loved her um, merch and all her like clay little pins and stuff. But I don't know how she got my address, but she sent me mail and I, I don't know how to feel about this. Like I'm so happy, but also like, where did she get my address? It says, hey Tiff, I hope you're doing okay. Just some fun things to cheer you up. Love, Vicky. Love, Vicky. Wait. Okay, now I'm confused. And... Okay, so on it, it says, Love, Vicky. Vicky's my friend. Oh. Okay, I think I kind of get it. But I think my friend ordered stuff from her and then she sent these to me? Possibly? Maybe? So there's these cute stickers inside the mail. A little business card. <gasps> oh my god, okay. Okay, this is, this is kind of... All right, I had this uh, product inside my wish list and I've been eyeing it for a really long time and it's just been sitting there for weeks maybe. And I think yesterday I checked and it was sold out. So I was like, oh, I guess it wasn't meant to be. But I guess it showed up at my house anyways. It's a cloud pin and it's handmade and I really love him. Also like, am I the only one that takes the stickers off of packaging because they're so cute and I want to reuse them. Man, I was planning on being so productive today and finishing so many post-its but I was at the DMV and for some stupid reason I had to wait for 4 hours to get my registration Anyways, I'm making myself feel better with some in and out and I also have some animal fries and then I'm gonna start working I think it's a pen pal from Savannah. Um, yeah, we traded addresses a while back and it's finally here. Savannah's my friend from school and she designed this um, letter paper by herself. So it has like her little character drawings on it, which is really cool. And then she also had like this washi tape. I think she also designed this by herself. She also included this gold foiled washi tape sample Ooh, little stickers I love little stickers 
She also gifted me a paper Mexican bookmark from Cancun And she gave me more of these Which is a little funny because I actually have these ones And then my friend Amy when I pen paled with her She also gave me these too So I just have a lot of bird um, sticker tabs now Which is nice Thank you Searching XL to order online didn't do much But nothing that looked even remotely like a bookworm 1818 There was no picture or description just the title and the winning bid. Said he'd often have books custom bound after providing a manuscript. Uh, from the labyrinth, so as not to take a wrong turn. She was talking, I realized, and didn't think to herself about where he would have put it. Noticed for the first time that the heavy metal music was. I looked down to see bones. Small. Stood just over the threshold was a man in a long, dark leather coat. I was alone once again. The whole encounter lasted barely more than a minute. I sat there, waiting in silence for him to return. It was awful, and I needed to find some way. The cause of death was apparently determined to be an overdose of painkillers, but it was judged a murder due to... So after procrastinating for a few hours, <laughs> I finally finished like three post-its. And I still have two more blank post-its and I'm gonna just finish it after this video is uploaded But I thought I would show you guys like uh, all the post-its I have now I'm gonna do 11 post-its and That's only because I only brought 11 post-it notes to Las Vegas So I just thought I would just do 11 and I think it's a good amount. It's like in between 6 and 12 which was their recommended amount because after 12 it's hard to sell your post-its apparently so these are my first two post-its um these ones are just done on I, i'm guessing it's like strathmore it's the individual sheets the large sheets and they're really expensive so this one's a poppy and this is a pitcher of orange juice and then the next few or the next two i don't really love it was because i was like i think i had like art block on this day when i did them so i pretty much just repainted uh one of my inktobers the gummy bear and i actually like my inktober gummy bear better this one turned out a little wonky but i don't have any extra post-it notes so i'm gonna turn that one in and then i did this lemon right here the next two um, they're just on plain post-it note paper with postcard markers. This one's apricot jam and this one's just flowers and it says stay fresh. And these two are the ones that I did today. Um, I feel like every time I draw, I don't really have a specific like picture in my brain of what I want to draw. I kind of just like put down a shape and then grow up from there kind of. So like. I drew this monkey with bananas flying around and then also strawberries with mini strawberries. And then the last one I did uh, like an hour ago before I started watching YouTube videos was this one. And it's just a very simple sprout one. And hopefully they don't get lost in the mail. Cause like they said to just send it in an envelope and then I have like 11 originals in here. So if it gets lost, I guess I won't have anything anymore. But yeah, um, I need to go cook some food. I think I've gotten into this like bad habit of recording the day before and then editing it and posting it the day after. So it's like a time crunch. I'm trying to fill everything important into one video that I do on Saturday and hopefully it turns out okay. Thanks for watching my very last minute studio vlog and uh, subscribe over here on this button and watch whatever video pops up over here if you would like to and I'll see you next week I think I haven't signed a contract with Satan yet so there may be a video next week there may not who knows no one really knows